Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we will be looking at Gustav. Gustav is a scout champion who focuses on doing mine damage, putting insane stacks on, buffing the team and using the long underused stanza mechanic. He takes around 40 minutes to unlock on a normal playthrough. To unlock Gustav you complete act one as normal and navigate to the green portal. Once in the green world, you navigate to the lonely rock in the middle of the screen here. Note that when you're on your way to the lonely island, when you reach the small pier, you must spend 800 gold to buy the boat, or you can obviously roll the dice to see if you get cheaper. But don't worry, once you accept the quest on the lonely rock, you will receive that 800 gold back. If you don't do this, you won't be able to collect the starting point for this quest. Once you have finished Act 2, you navigate to the Blue Portal. Once you are in the Blue World, you navigate to the Mansion on the right hand side of the screen. Once you are at the Mansion, you select the Continue option and then you will have unlocked Gustav. Because of Gustav's focus on stanzas and songs, I like to build his perks to maximize that synergy. I like to go 23, 9, 3, 15. Uh, you can ma mix and match with the golden shards how you like, but I want to maximize speed and on energy, I like to go for the middle option, the turn two option, and I'll explain why in detail in a moment. On the physical tab, I like to maximize the slashing damage and make sure that the piercing does not disappear at the end of each turn. This is so that I can keep stacking piercing, which I'll go into more detail in the build section. And on the elemental tab, under the inspire, I like to go for the middle one, which limits your inspire to one, but you will gain two cards on one inspire. And this goes really well with the mystical tab, whereby on stands of one, if you go for the middle option, you will gain one inspire at the end of the turn if you have stands of one. And I like to maximize mind damage and on the insane, I like to apply one additional stack. The reason why I have all of these sections selected is because when you automatically get stanza one, if you have no stanzas, it means that on turn two, you will have one inspire, which will give you two card draw because of the inspire perk. And the final synergy is that when you get to stanza three, you lose one energy generation at the start of turn four but because of the energy perk giving you one extra energy there, it cancels that out entirely. Gustav's starting deck includes three shivs, two chance of accuracies, his unique card, the Power Slave, two whispering lies, as well as a handful of annoying whistles, a song of quickness and two sweet melodies. When I'm building Gustav, the first thing I like to do is just have a look at all the different stanza cards that you can get in the first shot. I like to add in a chant of initiative and I like to upgrade that to enable me to give a stanza one to another person. The reason I do that is so that I can have a neglect and give him more mind damage. I like to add a sarcastic sonnet, which is quite expensive, but when you upgrade it, you can make it one cheaper. I like to add a Song of Celerity and I like to upgrade it to make sure that it becomes innate and you draw it at the start of your turn. And I like to add a Vexing Crescendo because it bounces really nicely and has a lot of stacks. When removing cards I remove one Shiv and I remove all but one Annoying Whistle. I think it's a quite an expensive card uh, and I don't think we need four of them. When I'm upgrading cards, there's nice cheap upgrades for the shivs so that they apply insane stacks, which works really well with neglect if you're working together with them. And as mentioned, you upgrade the chant of initiative and you want to be buffing neglect with that whenever you get a chance. And I upgrade the song of celerity to make it innate. And I also like to upgrade the annoying whistle to make sure that you can target it. And it's a very cheap upgrade. And as mentioned, I like to upgrade the sarcastic sonnet to make it one cheaper. One final upgrade is the Chant of Accuracy. I like to upgrade it to the yellow one to make sure it's always permanent so that I can keep stacking those sharpened stacks on myself. When I'm in the shop, 
I like to keep an eye out for anything that increases my mind damage or in this case the flute is actually a direct upgrade from my starting item because it offers a discount every two turns as opposed to every three turns so I like to grab that uh, and as you can see here mind damage a mine card is any of the cards that do mine damage so all the cards that do mine damage count as mind cards which is really useful you can see here mind spell there we are and yeah as you can see all these cards would trigger that effect so that's what you're sort of looking for in the shop and for pets i would recommend potentially betty is probably your best bet but any sort of damaging pet or utility pet is useful playing gustav is fairly self-explanatory because of his passive he will always have stanza one when he has no stanza stanza one increases your mind damage plus one and at the end of your turn you gain one inspire Stanza 2 increases your mind damage to plus 2 and it means that at the end of your turn you also get one energize which means for turn 3 you'll have one additional mana. It is noted that if you have stanza 2 you can still play stanza 1 cards and if you get to stanza 3 you can also still play stanza 2 and stanza 1 cards. When you get to stanza 3 your mind damage is increased to plus 3 and at the end of the turn, you suffer one fatigue, which means you will only have two energy generation for the next turn. But when you combine that with the extra energy in the perks, that should cancel each other out. Gustav is a champion who focuses on synergies, working well with his team, and using those perks to the best of your abilities. You can play Gustav as a support, or as someone who likes to stack slashing damage in the background and just keep hitting and keep putting on debuffs. He's a really fun champion to play and lots of different ways to play and build him. And I hope you have lots of fun trying to figure it out. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And stay tuned and subscribe for more content. Thank you and goodbye.